The Lord sent me to stop anything after man's destruction. He sent me to bring healing, liberty, and restoration to all. To raise, build, and plant all as his ambassadors everywhere and restore all things. Sickness is after your destruction. Satan is after your destruction. Sin is after your destruction. Curses are after your destruction. Poverty is after your destruction. Whatever it is that is meant to destroy you, I am sent to stop. Christ sent me as ambassador. Christ, Jesus, sent me as his ambassador. When you see me, you are seeing Christ in manifestation. When you hear from me or you hear me, you are hearing from him. Therefore, today, I have come because you must be free from sickness. So I want to show you God's secret to freedom from sickness. God's secret to your freedom from every sickness. In the book of John, chapter 3, Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So being born again qualifies you to see. Now again, he said, except a man be born of the spirit and of water, he cannot enter. So there is, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You need to be born again for your eyes to be open to see the things that are valuable. And then you need to be born of the Holy Spirit and of water. Then to, you can be ushered into the reality of this in this present world. Remember, John 3, 13, Jesus said, No man has ever gone up to heaven except the Son of Man who came down from heaven, who also right now is in heaven. He says, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of God be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the whole world through him might be saved. From what? From sin, from setbacks, from sickness and disease, from poverty, from lack and want, from everything that destroys mankind. God wants you saved. The Lord wants you saved. And the full price for your redemption, for your salvation, for your deliverance of liberty, for your resurrection, establishment, and enthronement has been paid. All you need is to believe. Whosoever believes on him should not perish. God has made a provision for you to be free from sickness and disease. Under the old covenant, when Israel sinned and God sent fierce serpents to bite them, many died. When they cried to Moses, Moses went to God in prayer. God said, make a serpent of brass. Place it on a pole. Go to the top of the hill and plant it there and tell them if you are beaten, by any fairy serpent, anywhere you are, don't bother praying to God. Don't bother crying to God. Don't bother coming to me. Just look to this serpent of brass and you will be free. God will forgive you. God will heal you. Now they heard, they believed, and they obeyed that word. Anyone who was beaten merely had to look at the serpent of brass. In faith, and once they looked, in spite of the pollution and poison of the venom of the serpent in their bloodstream, they were both forgiven instantly and healed instantly and they lived forgiveness and healing is always by the blood jesus went to the cross and died he has paid the price for your sins to be forgiven he has paid the price for your sins to be healed he said the lord is the one who forgives all our sins and heals all of our sicknesses he does it always he forgives our sins he heals our sicknesses psalm 103 and verse 3 he forgives all of our sins he heals all of our sicknesses so today's your day you can be forgiven you can be healed right now. The simplest provision and secret God has given us is faith in the finished work of Christ. Look at Christ on the cross who went there and died for your sake. He has paid the price for sin, for sickness, for poverty, for suffering, for every evil work to come to an end. You don't have to die. Believe this gospel and live. And I tell you, no devil can kill you. I pray for you that you be woken, that you be woken up, that your eyes be opened, that you will see that God has made the greatest provision and provided the simplest way for you to be free from every single disease it is faith in christ look up to to christ on the cross he died for you on the cross he paid for your sins on the cross he paid for your sicknesses look up to him and you will be forgiven and be healed the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ believe he died for you and rose from the dead for your sake and you are free oh yes it's a new day for you be blessed in jesus mighty name Amen.